Moto what? Moto X. Welcome back to Airbus Review SA guys and today we've got another air gun to preview and show you what you get in the box and how it just performs at 50 meters. So I got the Kroll Mortal X. Can you believe that? So we've done the Mortal which was the shorter barrel. Now we're going to do the one with a longer barrel which is a 580 centimeter barrel. So let's open up the box. So you get it in a cardboard box. Have a look at that. Comes with your normal foam casings. It's not thick, it's very thin. Okay, so you put that one side. Um, let's have a look at all the accessories you get inside there. So basically, you get your single shot loader, your quick coupler that goes in the front, which is quite nice, I like that, um, rather than the full probe. You get your two magazines, the old style ones, 12 shots in .22. Um, that is quite cool. So that's what you get in this little box. And then, what I've seen, you get this little full grip handle. Look at that. That's that little full grip. So you can actually put it on this rail at the bottom here. So you can actually hold it like this and you can shoot with it. That looks pretty cool. So if you want, it is there. So it's pretty cool. Nice and easy to use just quickly. Buy it with an Allen key, just tighten it to the Picatinny rail. So it's got a Picatinny rail at the bottom there, as you can see. That is pretty cool. So you can install it. But anyway, have a look at this, guys. This thing looks pretty cool. I like it. It looks flipping cool. I mean, if you have a look at those two sides, it almost looks like you're holding a shotgun. It's got an adjustable cheek piece in the back here. It's got an adjustable length of your butt pad that you can move in or out. It depends if you want to shoot with your little lighty or little girl there um, in the backyard, you know, because sometimes as humans, you know, like the adults, have it longer. And then with the little kids, you can go a little bit forward with supervision. And then it's a rubber butt pad here at the back. And uh, you can fold the stock clothes, guys. So if you want to make it a little bit shorter and tactical, you can. So this is a tactical style looking air gun. It looks pretty decent. It's got a magazine holders right there. We'll check how they fit in there, Nana. Um, you've got your match style trigger. You can adjust your trigger settings and then obviously move your trigger shoe to the left or to the right, you know, whichever angle or up or down as you prefer. So that's, that's very nice. I like that as well. More adjustability for the shooter. This here is not a power wheel. Not, it is a power wheel, guys. Have a look at it. It's not like the shadow. The shadow, this was a little screw, all right, to loosen the barrel. But this is a power wheel adjuster. So if you have a look at that, now you're going to ask me, how do you know where to set? So if you look on the other side of this, have a look at that. It will show you a plus or a minus, so you know where it's set. So that's pretty cool. So it's quite nice and easy to move. It's not that difficult, but um, it's still quite strenuous, so it won't move with the air if you put it on minimum. It comes with a biathlon lever, but it's a different style one. It looks very neat. It's got, it's a bit stylish. I like that. And if you have a look at the body of the crawl right here, it's totally different to all the others. The other ones used to have an informative look that you could change over, but these new ones are way different. So there's your safety switch, quite nice and neat. It says S for safety and F for fire. The grip is rubber, which I like as well. That's one of the things that I like. That it's not just plastic, you know. Because once it is plastic, it feels like the gun is cheap. But now, this air gun coming at a really good price, and it's got this, you would really think it's a very premium air gun. It seriously feels like it, and it looks like it as well. On the top, they've got a Picatinny rail, no dovetail, only Picatinny. So just remember that, guys. It's got a shrouded barrel. It's, not, it's, it's internally silenced, but to a certain extent, then another thing I want to show you guys, and I've mentioned it on all the crawl rifles. So this is the only drawback that I don't like about it, but crawl will sort it out soon. I know they would. It's got like a little 
can I say, the little step right there. They didn't make the threads all the way. So make sure if you put on a silencer that it has got a step on the inside. Because otherwise it's not going to go flush towards the end. It's just going to have like two mil gap left there. And I mean, I don't like that. But yeah, it is what it is. So just have a look out for that. But otherwise, that was my only gripe about it. But the nicest thing now, have a look at that. See, they're full port. It's no more one of those full probes. It's a quick coupler. I like that. That's decent. It, that's how it should be on all air guns. Then if you have a look at it here, it doesn't have a, a regulator on the inside. Um, this is the non-regulated one. So this full is up to 200 bar. Have a look at that. And you shoot it all the way down to 100 bar. Don't shoot it below 100 bar because you might hurt the main valve. Another thing I want to mention, guys. These guns are superb. You know, Kroll guns with their 580 barrels are superb with 18 grains. So I know exactly I'm going to use that as my preferred pellet today. So you'll see, with the rifling and everything, it's just like harmonic. They just work together. So we'll try slugs and so on, and we'll have a look at that. And uh, we'll put on a scope. I'll talk a little bit about the scope just now. It's very nice. But obviously you guys want to know what's the weight of this. So this weight of this air gun, it's a roughly about 2.9 kgs. Uh, the total length of the barrel, just the barrel, is 58 centimeters. Okay, or in millimeters, 580 millimeters. Then they say you get about 84 shots per fill. We'll be the judge of that. We'll see today how many shots I can get out of it, and I'll mention it to you guys. Then they say around about 920 feet per second, which equals to 46 joules. We will see that as well. But yeah, we are here. That's why we're checking out these things because all the air gun manufacturers claim this and it performs different. I don't know if it's because of the atmospheric pressures or the sea level and I don't know what else. But yeah, that's what they say. And what we get here in South Africa, let's check what's the difference. So I just want to show you, let's just get the total length with the butt pad all the way in all right let's just quickly measure it there because they don't give it on the side so it's 1.1 meter so let's extend it completely like on its maximum this is without a silencer guys this is just the air gun itself so it is 1.9 okay so that's not bad Concerning it's got a longer barrel looks all legit and it suits my hold as well So it's very pointable to shoot um, I won't use it as a walk and stalk you can because you can fold this back I would like to use this as a bench and long-range shooting. So yeah, let's check how it does and um, I just want to say something guys look at the style of the of the show today This is the new discovery scopes that we've got in this is the HD glass one. Just have a look at that. I mean, look at this turret. It's so flipping nice. Guys, lockdown turrets, 1M rad. Look at the scope mounts, the new scope mounts. The, oh, I can't explain how nice it looks. Look at that cutaways on the inside there. This is a 34 mil tube right there, and it's Picatinny. So this thing is very robust. It's very short. Have a look at that. All the specs will be down below this video. There will be a little bit of a triangle at the bottom. Just click on it and it will give you all the specs of the scope and all my equipment that I use. So have a look at the scope. It's the HD version, 5 to 30 by 56. Have a look at that. SFIR. So this is a first focal plane scope, very short. Just listen to this. Oh my goodness. And it's very soft. And it's pronounced turrets and look how lucky it clips back guys this is flipping fantastic this is a short scope at a really good price discovery you've hit the nail on the head this is really nice and it doesn't feel too heavy so this thing's oh, it oh yeah guys you'll see on the video just now when i do some shots through this thing it's got like a little dot on the inside there that is for more target shooting and long range shooting so you can so the crosses don't cover your groupie, you know, so you can actually see where the pellet's going if you shoot at longer ranges. So, yeah, let's put this on that air gun, all right? 
the Crawl Mortal X and let's get our X's on. Alrighty guys, I'm here at 50 meters. I've got the JSB 18 grains ready to fly down range. Okay, so I've been shooting with it to check what it prefers and so on. I've seen that um, I get around about eight, ooh, 70 to 80 shots per full. 849. And it's on 849 feet per second, not 920, so they probably use lighter pellets. 842. Um, the trigger does feel pronounced, it's very lacquer to pull. So, to me, it's pretty decent. 800. 75. So I'm shooting on the left hand side. Last one. 842. You know guys, I didn't clean the barrel at all. Not one bit. So just imagine that, eh? This is flipping fantastic. Okay, so I shot that one with the 18.13s, JSBs. I'm now shooting the knockout slugs. 25.39s in 0.217. So I'm gonna, there's a mark on the right hand side, so I'll do a grouping right there, and you can check how it goes. 728. Not too bad, it's still retaining its energy. 721. Did you see that, guys? You don't need speed to shoot slugs. 728. I mean, there's a lot of people that says you need to shoot these slugs over how many feet per second to get it accurate. 694. I mean, really guys, look at that. 733. I mean, come on, please, let's be honest, that is flipping accurate as you won't believe. I mean, at that speed, it's pretty perfect. So. Let's go and see what it can do at around about 80 meters. So I'm going to go put it down there. I zeroed it at 50 meters with the 18 grain JSBs. Um, so as you can see that drop off here at 50 meters from the 18 grains. It is quite a lot though, but look at the accuracy. Guys tend to say, listen, you need speed to shoot slugs. No, you don't. Look, at longer distances, these slugs will have more energy than the pellets. But anyway, let's move those targets out to 80 meters and let's see what the pellets and the slugs do at that distance. Guys, this is exciting. This gun is pretty accurate. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're at the 80 meter range. I'm gonna do first the JSB 18 grain. So let's see how they perform. So they're going to fly quite far. That ain't bad, so let's hook up the JSB and let's see how they go. This will come. Okay, I've got the JSB knockouts in here. Let's take them to the right hand side. Let's see how they fall. And let's see how they do. Just get that lined up there. See everything is good. 719.
Okay, one flyer, but check guys, that was at 80 meters. Let's go look at those groupings downrange. And for a standard gun to shoot slugs, that distance in, in this wind, the wind is blowing quite like erratic here and there. Just picks up, then it dies. Picks up, then it dies. But anyway, let's go look at those groupings. This Mortal X, ha, I pretty love it. So let's go check it out. Okay, so guys, we here at 50 meters. There's my 18 grain JSBs. That is a thumbnail, call it an inch. And look at the slugs. They even made a tighter grouping. But look at the falling where it fell. Look at that distance. All right, so I zeroed it with the 18 grains. And when you shoot it here with the slugs, obviously because of the heavier weight and of the speed it's flying at, it's flying relatively low because of the heavy weight of the bullet. Like they would say, gravity is the yeah, that's good. But anyway, look, that was pretty accurate. We'll go see the 80 meter range and then we'll talk about our final thoughts. So let's go check that out. <laughs> Guys, look at that. This is not a bad grouping for 18 grain JSBs at 80 meters at those speeds. Look at those sizes. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. If you shoot these things a little bit faster, I definitely think you can definitely make them go in all one hole down this range. The same with the slugs. Have a look at the five shot slugs there. That is quite a big grouping, but it can still shoot slugs. Do you see what I'm saying? So even if you shoot the lighter ones like the 21 grains, you're going to have to choose your own ones to see which ones work the best for you. So I chose these ones today because as you can see, they're not too bad. They really aren't. Um, that short grouping there, all right, look, it is windy and the way it slowed down with the speed, look how far it also fell at 80 meters. It's quite far. But then I had one fly and four of them pretty much close together. Not as what other people would do, like some, some guys would want them just to have one little dot at this distance, depending on what you pay for, you understand. But yeah, this air gun most definitely will do it. If you want to go shoot out some rabbits and pigeons and so on, like at 50 meters, you saw the grouping there, you'll be able to smash them no problems. And uh, different distances, just remember to do your holdovers correctly and you'll still get them. So it is capable of shooting like that. Look, these guns are flipping superb. Um, for the price that you're paying them at, they are really, really good. They are flipping decent. I mean, what more, the, what more can you ask for? I mean, even if you have a look at this massive scope that I put on you today, same thing. It looks flipping big and everything and heavy, but it's not. It's really compact and it's, it's a good, good combo if you actually think about it. If you have a look at this air gun and this scope, it looks like a sniper. But anyway, I had fun today. I hope you guys did too. Um, come down to pelaguns.com so you can see the clarity through these. That camera system of mine can't even pick up the brilliant clarity this has. You must see it with your own eyes. Come check it up here in the shop and you can see through it, look at it throughout the window and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's pretty decent. I like it. And uh, guys, please stay safe. And we'll see you on the next episode on Ebro's Review SA again with another air gun. See you again.